How can you shorten the one calendar month's notice period to get married in Australia? So you don't want to hang around to get married. Okay, just a few things you should consider before heading down the track of applying for a shortening of time. The reasons for seeking a shortening of time must fall within one of the prescribed categories considered for shortening, covered in Schedule 3 to the Marriage Regulations. The prescribed authority has no discretion to grant a shortening of time outside the circumstances covered by these categories. The granting of a shortening of time is not automatic and a prescribed authority may charge an application fee, so you may want to check with them before making your appointment. If you're still happy to go ahead, you just need to make an appointment with the prescribed authority. These can be found at your local court or at your births, deaths and marriages offices in your state. Once you've made your appointment, before attending, you will need to make a booking with your celebrant. Complete the Notice of Intended Marriage form and lodge it with your celebrant. Your celebrant will then date the notice and return it to you with the date it was received by them and provide you with a copy to take to your interview. You'll need to take this along with the other documents to prove why you need a shortening. Now, if your application is successful, celebrate! The prescribed authority will then sign the Notice of Intended Marriage form stating that you have been granted a shortening of time and give that form the notice back to you. You will then need to provide that Notice of Intended Marriage to your celebrant so you can get married on your chosen date.